Okay, I'm going to do a little video on the ultimate hardware rod for steelhead. I uh, like to uh, mainly drift fish and bobber fish, but I got into throwing spinners and plugs for steelhead and, and cohos uh, the last couple of years. Um, especially the plugs are hard to cast. They catch air, and so... A lot of times I couldn't get as far as I wanted to, and I'm on the North Fork of the Lewis River by Mount St. Helens, and it's pretty wide, so throwing a, uh, a plug all the way to the other side, uh, at least on some of the holes, really helps. So what I did was uh, they discontinued this rod blank. You can get a similar one, but it's a Lama Glass TI. It's a 6 to 15. I think they make an 8 to 15 now. This rod, I have another one that I built as a casting rod, is the farthest casting rod. I don't know. They use uh, IM700 graphite. It's, it casts like you can't believe. So I saved this blank out and made a spinning rod out of it. And what I did was I don't put lots of guides on it. I put the right amount to keep the weight off the blank, especially in the upper end. And then the, the, the butt I put together, I'll go from stem to stern. Here is the uh, end. I took a piece of cork and some winding checks and put that at the bottom. I wanted to leave the center of the grip open. You don't ever grip it there, so you don't need cork there. It's just easy to do it that way. But I left it open because I like the look of the, uh, of the titanium. Then I put another short bit of cork. I used these new reel seats that have uh, kind of a soft rubber hump right above the reel. You can't believe how nice this rod feels to fish with compared to a standard one. Then I come down, another winding check, more titanium, a hook keeper, and the guides I use are Fuji Alkanites. They're 40% lighter than the hard alloys. They're even lighter than SICs, and I've never had a guide wear out. So to, to buy SICs for me, they're extremely expensive. I never would. These the guides probably cost me $15 on this rod, so they're not expensive. So it's a 9 foot 2, 6 to 15. The, this is probably, to me, the nicest rod I've ever built. I really dig it. And I've got some neat rods. I've got some more that I'm going to have on my video library if you want to look. Um, and then what I'm using here is uh, a Daiwa. Capricorn 2500. It has a fairly big spool, and I'm going to use a 14 pound fire line on it, which is plenty strong enough. And I usually don't even use a monofilament uh, leader on it. I just tie it directly and I catch a lot of fish. Um, so I really like this reel too. I may use a different one, but I just wanted to say. And uh, that uh, I really like this rod, and I thought I'd show everybody. So um, that's it. Um.